Are we going to talk <sighs> Met Gala? Oh, let's talk Met Gala. Let's talk oh, Met Gala. Gala. So last night, last baby. night was the Met Gala. And if you did not watch, you weren't on social media. You were just, you know, just doing everyday <laughs> life stuff. No, there I were can't. lots of dresses and lots of moments on the red carpet we want to talk about. So this is Katy Perry. She had a moment. You can see the red cape. It was very elaborate, very overdone. People, though, weren't necessarily, some people were feeling it, but she got a lot of comparisons online and a lot of memes started flying out. I remember I saw one in particular <laughs> that said she looked like she was about to go marry Beetlejuice. Yes, so, little I know in a moment. <laughs> so, it was, it was a very eventful uh, evening if you follow that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and Megan, what was the theme? Again, the theme of the, the night overall. The was theme like, of the night, and I have to go back my notes and look for that, but it's something with it, art in between. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. last year it was really focused on metallics and it was really underwhelming you might remember that a lot of people like there's not a lot for us to criticize this morning we all mm -hmm. become style critics the next morning right we watch like oh that was ugly oh that was cute and I'm like listen <laughs> I I'm such a fan of this night which happens um, every single year every May it happens every first May I, I may right one? at the very beginning right at the very beginning I believe it's May 1 I was looking through notes this morning um, but Anna Wintour really comes down because she's obviously editor of Vogue and this is her big moment the Metropolitan Museum of Arts moment all the celebrities come in costume emphasis on costume right. my friend not just an outfit she really demands that everyone comes out full throttle in theme mm -hmm. in a costume so when you're looking at these outfits understand that that it's coming from a perspective of style to the next Next level. You're not supposed to be, oh yes, I'd wear that. I would have worn that to prom yeah, or right. I'm going to wear that to the next ball I go to. Like, no, it's just supposed to be creative. What yeah. do you think? Do you and I want to ask our right producer, here, Bill, too. We created a tag board, hashtag Met Gala, if you can pull that <laughs> up on CJ on uh, CG12 because we brought up some of the memes of the night. People making fun um, of the people. People making fun of all of the outfits because, of course, when you have an evening where it is costumes and it is art-based costumes, you're going to have all sorts of exquisite attire. And so right. there are a lot of people taking advantage of that on social media and trying to do these comparisons on what these celebrities look like. So if we can get that up, Bill, if you can let us do know. Yeah, we have some really funny ones because uh, yeah, we talk had, about Diddy. We had Diddy. Uh, so <laughs> Diddy and Cassie went to <laughs> the Met Gala, and every picture was flying around. Diddy laying on the stairs <laughs> at, the, at the Met Gala, like posing, and yeah. Cassie was standing up. Uh, a train just completely laid out, stretched out. But you know, Here, Diddy I'm playing that the in the car. Picture. I'm and Diddy playing that you in the car, what? honey. And people are hating on him, saying that yes, this is what happens when Diddy isn't the center of attention. He's gonna make himself. He's the gonna. Center Diddy of is, attention. But this is Diddy. Diddy is worth at one point. Diddy. This is billion dollar Diddy. Like <laughs> we he's want this do whatever Diddy. He want. Yeah. He stepped up, oh, if you will. Let me up. show you. Let me show you. Ah, okay, coming okay. close. Let's so, see. There he is in the background. You see him on the staircase. <laughs> I love this. Just in the background. <laughs> it's like, really? You had to just steal the show, get in the frame? Like, he is I not having it. He is <laughs> Let's see what people are saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love that. I know. Okay, Rihanna, we have the memes now. There there's you go. Rihanna. So there's Riri. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So obviously, yes, Billy, our producers are here. She's the one to the left. Yes, yeah. we have to clarify this. We have to be sure. We have to make sure. Because y'all, if you just tried have a to big pile like of laundry at home needed to be folded like myself, just grab and put it in front of you, and that's what we're Oh, my for. gosh. I love that. <laughs> Cornelia, you love this one. Oh, yes. That's Pharrell's wife, Helen. They compared her to the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> some, uh, some other cartoon memes. Not I forget outfit. the name of the cartoon. Uh, but they just anything big, furry, and red, a Teletubby, they compared yeah. it to her. There's Jerry Hayes again, again. About and Cassie there. again. She looked fierce, by the way. Yeah, Cassie always looks good. This is a great Bella guess. Hadid, look at her. Okay, so <laughs> if you see the back of this dress, which I'm not sure we have a picture of, but we will, um, we can post it in the yeah. comments later. I'll grab it. The back of the dress is stunning. Wait, let's go back to the one before that if you can. This is kind of similar, where they're dressed in this netted material. Yeah, the one and before that, Bella. through Oh, okay, Bella, she was, uh, people are saying she was like a fish in a net. But this, my friends, it's going back to what Canelia was talking about. <laughs> which was Katy Perry. Oh, here um, comes Megan's cup. Uh -oh, oh, here wait, we look. Oh, wait, here we let go. it go up. Oh, J-Rod. Oh. Can you guys guess who this is in a shade of blue? Mm. Mm. She posted this morning saying that, you know, because she stars in NBC's Shades of Blue. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, gosh. Ooh, <laughs> get choked up. You see, talking about J-Rod, Megan's getting choked up. Okay, I did pull up Bella Hadid. Oh, and look, Serena Williams with her baby bump. Just awesome. to these. I love she it. just looks stunning in that emerald green. Okay, so let's come back out here. Bella Hadid. This was the jumpsuit that everybody was talking about. And you can see it kind of looks like the fishnet stockings. And then the back just comes way down. And this was a little see-through. Should I censor, censor that? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can't see that part. <laughs> but Megan's still uh, emotional still over uh, J-Rod. Look. She is she in tears. Up. I have to give them a thumbs up in the back when I'm ready. You good? To speak again. I'm okay, good. Okay. okay. We're having these smoothies here today, and I just got a little choked up. Um, <laughs> J-Rod, was this the first carpet we saw Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez hit? I think, I think so. think yeah. this is the first official we've carpet, yes. We've seen them. Yep. We've, we've seen them at some baseball games. They were down in Miami for Easter. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that they walked the red carpet together for the first time, and they looked absolutely stunning. You're not looking at J-Lo and A-Rod right now, but you're looking about... At Tom Brady, Tom Brady. Brady. There's, your, there's your oh couple. Oh my God! And then Dina. Serena Williams and um, she was in emerald green, not that she was one. In emerald green, but I don't know like baby bump. Who's this right here? That's that's Serena the weekend of Selena Gomez. Gomez. We, sorry, we have a monitor in front. Ever since he cut his hair, really I can't far. tell him apart. I just, really far. I know. Know. But yeah, and then this is my favorite couple right now. Well, of all Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds. I love them. Oh, oh really? That's people were hating on her peacock feathers. I thought it was absolutely amazing. Again, this is. Costume. Oh, there's Nicki Minaj. They oh, compared her Nikki. to somebody in a Marvel movie. Or like Dracula. Oh, with the cape. Okay. With the cape. <laughs> what do you I guys think? Who are oh, Zendaya. Zendaya I love Zendaya was really killing cute. it. I like that. Her like, natural hair. Yeah. I love that. She rocks it so hard. She is another one of those young Oh, here's Celine actors. Dion. Celine oh. Dion. <laughs> so, Megan had a cute, a fun moment that was going viral on social with Celine Dion singing to the reporter you know, like, from I Entertainment feel, Tonight. I feel <laughs> I feel bad for Celine because, you know, Renee passed away. It was just her longtime partner in life, in music. It was her husband. She had children with Renee. He passed away um, within the past well, year, year and a half. I was in Vegas at the time when he passed away, and she was obviously a resident there. Mm -hmm. She has a residency on the Las Vegas Strip at Caesars Palace. So she came out and she spoke you know, publicly about Renee's passing. And I just remember how tragic it was. She has been, she had been with Renee for so long that it was kind of stepping into this new world for her of like, yeah. how do I manage my own career? How do I manage my life? I'm raising these three kids. Um, so when you see her out and about now, I do feel like it's a different Celine. Renee isn't there and he was known for a lot of years of making sure that her image was mm. always intact, making sure mm -hmm. what she wore looked a certain way. And I feel like now that he has since passed, She's just this different person. Yeah, it's she, refreshing She sometimes. looked like a different person, and yeah. she she sounded like a different person. She's out at there singing. She was singing to the Entertainment Tonight reporter. <laughs> and at one point, when I first saw her, I was like, is that Celine Dion? Because it just didn't look like classic Like classic Celine. Celine. Mm -hmm. She's out Maybe there with she's going line. through a thing. Maybe she's traumatized, honey. <laughs> You have this, to see that video. She went, she's going through a lot. Poor thing. She was out there with, like you said, that ET reporter just belting out tunes. Oh, we have another show Megan yet. Don't show Megan yet. Here comes the big reveal. You see? Who is that? I can't see. That's your couple, J Rod. Oh, is it J Rod? In the I, car I, on the oh, way to the look event. Look how precious J Lo looks. And look how, like, manly he looks. I don't know. They <laughs> just are so <laughs> perfect. She, I says, hope. she says, me and my macho bello. Ooh, macho bello. See, we, sh we show Diddy. You guys remember her Diddy days. Mm -hmm. Yes. I wonder if they chatted it up. Do we know if they're friends? They, they, they kiki it up from time to time. She does they the same thing with up. Mark Anthony. Like, she go. stays friends with her exes. I don't know about Ben. You ben can't Affleck. burn any bridges. But there was that issue, and this is just going down the gossip road, and we can go back to the real topic. <laughs> when the Fuse was up for sale, uh, that Diddy was just planning to buy right. Fuse, and then her company kind of swooped in and, and did mm. a deal and took Ooh. over and outbid Diddy. Where is that blood. now? Fuse is... That was, I think, and what, that's how Taylor this was after Nuvo was TV. Formed. Remember, she had Nuvo TV. So J Lo's a boss. She's doing her thing. J -Lo's he a boss. He better not babe. hurt her, though. We always go back to that. Back a Rod to that. better not hurt J Lo. Uh, we know that she has her new dance show out. She's in Shades of Blue on NBC. Uh, I was gonna say American Idol, but that has since gone off the air. Yeah. Uh, she's 